you, let's appreciate you, oh God, for his love for us. Somebody give God the praise. Let's appreciate him. Jesus, our Lord, we thank you. Jesus, our King, we glorify you. Somebody glorify God right now. Let's appreciate Jehovah God, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shekeno, Jehovah El Shaddai. Let's appreciate Him, Jehovah Shekeno, Jehovah El Shaddai. Let's give God the praise for what He has done for you. Let's give Him praise for what He will do in your life. Let's give God the praise for what He has done for you. He has done great things. He has done so much for me. I cannot tell it. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's give God the praise. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. El Shaddai, we honor you. We give all the praise. We give all the glory to you. Somebody give all the glory to the king. Let's praise him. Let's sabbat him right now. Give your love for him. Give your love for your God this morning. Let's appreciate you over God for what he has done and for what he will do again. Somebody let's sing a new song to the king. Let's sing a new song to the Lord. Lord, you wonderful God. Mighty God, we honor your name. Mighty God, we honor your name. We honor that name that is above every other name. Let's celebrate Jesus right now. Let's give that praise to the king. Let's celebrate Jesus right now. Let's give that praise to the king. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Let's bless the Lord. Somebody, let's begin to thank the Lord this morning. Let's begin to appreciate the King right now. Wherever you are, let's just begin to give all the glory to the King. All the glory to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. Let's appreciate Him. For He is worthy of my praise. Let's appreciate him. No man on earth should be glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. I want you to begin to appreciate the king right now, wherever you are. I want you to begin to praise him and thank him for his goodness for your life. I want you to begin to appreciate him and say, Lord, you are good. You are, a you are excellent God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace of your love for me, for your grace of your spirit in my life. Let's give that thanks to the King. Let's appreciate him. Let's give that love to our King, Jesus, our Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for your love for me. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's give that honor to whom is due. Let's give honor to whom that can receive it. Jesus deserve it. Give that honor. Give all the glory to him. Give all the praise to him. Let's appreciate him. Let's talk about his goodness. Let's talk of his mercy. Talk of his kindness, of his faithfulness. Let's appreciate him and give that thanks to him. Lord Almighty, we thank you. Lord Almighty, we honor you. Lord Almighty, we appreciate you. Give that glory to him. Lord, we worship you. Lord, I exhort you. Exhort and magnify the Lord this morning. Let's join the host of heaven to thank him for what the Lord has done for us and for what he will do in your life this morning. Let's give that praise to the king. My Lord and my God, we thank you. My Lord and my God, we worship you. My Lord and my God, we exhort you. Exhort him, give that praise to him, give that honor to him to whom is due. Jesus deserve to receive it. Jesus deserve to receive the praise. He deserve to receive all the praise, all the glory, all the honor belongs to him. 
Let your hallelujah belong to him. My hallelujah belongs to him. Hallelujah belongs to you. I want you to appreciate him. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. Let's lift our voice to him. My hallelujah belongs to you. Let's worship him. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that honor to him. Let's sabbat him. Let's give that glory to the Lord. Jesus, our Lord, we worship you. Give that glory to him. Your hallelujah belongs to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for me. Somebody lift your voice and bless him. Let's appreciate him. Let's give that honor to him. My Lord and my God, we worship you. My Lord and my King, we exhort you. We exhort you for your love. We exhort you for your grace. We exhort you for your strength and your power over my life. Somebody give that thanks to him for what he's going to do in your life, for what he has done. I know he's going to do great things in your life. I know he's going to touch your life. I know that he will change your story. Give that glory to him. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to your name. Glory be to his name. Celebrate him wherever you are. Give that thanks to him. In Jesus' name, we pray. God told us clearly in his word that when we are coming to him, we should, thank, we should come with thanksgiving. He wants it. He demands it. He commands it. God wants us when we are coming to him, not just to tell him about what is going on in our life, he wants us to give thanks to him. He wants us to give that very thanks to him. He wants us to appreciate him and bless him. That's what God, God wants from us. That we should give thanks to the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, with everything that's seen in us. That we should give thanks to him with all our heart. That's what he wants from us. God just wants us to come and he know what you want to talk about. He knows it. He knows your needs than you. God knows our needs than us. But what he needs from us is appreciate and art that we appreciate him for what he has done in our life. That's what I want you to thank him and give that praise to him. I want you to thank him. Thank him that you are alive. Life, that means you, there is hope for you. You are alive. There is hope for your life. Once you are alive, there is hope. God will fulfill your dream for you. Once you are alive, devil want to destroy, devil want to kill, devil want to put you to shame, but God said no, he's sustaining you for his purpose to come to pass in your life. So somebody give God the glory right now, give him the glory, give him the honor, he deserves to receive it, he deserves to have it, he deserves to receive it. Oh, thank you Holy Spirit. Somebody lift a voice, makayebu kasatayabu. Somebody exhort Jesus right now. Lift your voice and praise him, praise him from the bottom of your heart. Let's appreciate him. Let's give that honor to him. Let's give that honor to whom is due. Let's appreciate the Lord right now. Let's give that glory to him. Thank him. You can never thank him enough for all what he has done for you. You can never thank him enough for all what he will do. Let's give God praise. Let's honor him. Let's support him. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. You are known our world, beloved.
appreciate him is a, when God is when we say God is faithful is is faithful God over your situation he is going to be faithful to it he cannot lie to you exhort him lift your voice and praise him father we give that praise to you that you have been faithful oh God from the ages past that is why that we call your name is forever praise. You know what you know. Lift a voice and thank him. To be praised and adore. Lift a voice and exhort him. You know, you know. thank him, begin to ask him to forgive every sin that can hinder your prayer this morning. Let's go before God, Lord. I, I acknowledge myself before you, God, that I have sinned against you. God wants you to agree with him in your wrongdoing. God wants us to agree with him in our wrongdoing before him. That, Lord, this is a sin. Lord, I agree with you. I have sinned against you. Lord, forgive me. Lift your voice and begin to agree with God right now. God wants us to agree with him. That, that very thing is a sin. Let's ask the Lord for forgiveness of your sin. Before him, Father, forgive me all my sin. Cleanse me from every iniquity. Wash me from all my, all my trespasses. Open your heart and pray. Let's ask him to forgive us all our sin. Open your heart to him. In the name of Jesus, Makarabashantaribu, lift your voice and ask the Lord to forgive every sin. Lord, forgive me all my sin, forgive me all my iniquity, wash me, wash me and cleanse me. Open your heart to God, the Lord Jehovah God, to forgive all your sin right now. My Lord and my God, Makalabashetelebo, Setelebo, open your heart to God, the Lord Jehovah God, to forgive every sin that may be here. Somebody lift your voice and pray to God, that Jehovah God, to forgive every sin that may be here, or every sin that the accuser 
of my life is using against me. Open your heart and pray the accuser, accuser of the brethren. Always going before God day and night. Say no. Don't do that thing for him. Don't do that thing for her. He can, because you have sinned. You have sinned. Open your heart and pray. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you. Open upon the throne of mercy. Upon the throne of grace and favor. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for me. Open your heart and pray upon the throne today. Open your heart and pray. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you. Upon the throne. Open your heart to God. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you. In the name of Jesus, I want my life to believe. I want I want you to go to put shame to an end in my life. Open your heart to God. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for your life right now. Somebody pray to God. Let the blood of Jesus speak for me now. In the name of Jesus, thank you, our good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's say, Lord, as I look unto you, have your way in my life, O God. I want you to open your heart to God and begin to tell him that Lord Jehovah God to have his way in your life. Father, I pray, have your way in my life. As I look unto you, O God, have your way in my life. I want you to begin to lift your voice to Jesus right now. That Lord God of heaven to have his way in your life right now. My Sanda Yarabokote ya. My Libero Bekisha Telebukosate. Open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to have his way in your life to redeem you from failure. Have your way in my life, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, somebody lift your voice to God. The Lord God of heaven to have his way in our life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way in my life this morning. Have your way in my home this morning morning. Have your way in my life this morning. Father, Holy Spirit of God, have your way in the life of everyone this morning. Somebody begin to pray that Lord God of heaven to have his way in your life. That Lord God of heaven to have his way in your situation that you are in. Lift your voice and cry before El Shaddai, my Lord and my God. Have your way in my life today. I need you, God, to have your way in my life. I need you, God, to have your way in my home. I need you, God, to have your way. Open your heart to God in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, have your way in my life. In Jesus' name. We pray, open your heart to God, say, Lord, I pray, let my very case be set to this morning. I know that you are here this morning to talk to your God about your needs. He wants us to do that. That's why he told you, give us our daily bread. Give us what you need. Our Father who art in heaven, he wants you to give, I love be thy name. Give us our daily bread, what you need in life. What you need to sustain you is in his hand. Solution to your case is in the hand of him. That I want to lift up voice, say, Father, I look unto you. Let your grace set to my case as I cry to you, God. Father, answer to my request this morning. Open your heart to God as I look unto you. Give me my daily bread. I don't know whether you I don't know what is of daily bread that will make you to have that joy in your heart. That very thing, Nemo Kashata, is in the hand of God. Let every release the desires of your heart. Open your heart to God. Let every release the desires of your heart. Your case must be shed to today. Open your heart to God that is set to my very case today. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, set to my case today. Open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to set to your very case today. In the name of Jesus, stretch forth your end of your power into break satanic yoke for my life. Stretch forth the end of your power. In the name of you to release your grace over me. Stretch forth the end of your power. Let that be solution right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessing Father. In Jesus' name, we pray for those that uh, you have uh, Instagram. Also, you can also listen to us on Instagram. Uh, you can search showers of blessing. 
showers of blessing one hallelujah that's the name on instagram but uh, if you want to use instagram to listen to this you can type showers of blessing one also you can listen to youtube just type F, uh, fc ministry uh festus and the lord will go will bless you and also you can download it um, showers of blessing inside the app i want you to open your heart and pray and tell the lord that lord should manifest his power in your life Lord, manifest your power. My life is calling upon you. Lord, manifest the glory of you in this season that people may know that you are God over my situation. I want to open your heart and begin to tell the Lord, the Lord God of heaven, to manifest his power. Jehovah God, manifest your power in my life. Break every satanic yoke that delay progress. Break every satanic yoke that rob me of my blessing. I want you to begin to lift your voice. That demand manifest your power right now. Somebody open your heart and begin to tell the one that created you. Open your heart to Jehovah God. That demand manifest your power. Manifest the glory of you. Manifest your power. Manifest the glory of you in this morning, in the life of this one. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray for the manifestations of God's glory. Pray for the manifestation of God's power. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God that He manifest your power this morning in my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, Psalm 28 told us. Unto thee I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent. I mean, that God should not be silent to your case. To me, you need to respond. You need God to respond to you. You need an answer to that what you are talking about. Father, I need an answer. Tell the Lord, don't silent, O God. Don't, when God is silent to the life of a man, that person will turn to something else. God was so silent. To Saul that you don't know what to do anymore. God did not speak to him, whether by dreams or vision, by prophet, by dream. God never opened it. God just God closed that channel in the life of Saul. He turned his life to something else. Lift your voice and pray to God. Father, don't silent concern him. I'm moving forward. I want to move forward. Daddy, don't silent about your glory, Malahi. Remember, this year is about to come to an end. We only have a few days to go. In 2020, let all what I desire for great things in life, let heaven supply, oh God. Open your heart and pray, Father, begin to supply the needs of your people this morning. Don't silent concerning their life. In the name of Jesus, all abaka parabate tetete. Ah, le prendo toto rabakada. Power that is robbing me of this blessing. Power that is robbing me of my years. Open your heart and pray that is robbing the years in your life. The Bible told us all the years that enemy have eaten, that is going to return back to you. Open your heart and pray. Let a power be put to shame. Let heaven supply. Let heaven meet me at the point of my need. Solution to my case, oh God. Somebody pray for solution to your needs, oh God. Solution to the case of you people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, arise to deliver, oh God. Arise to break the yoke, oh God. Open your heart and pray the Lord God of heaven to arise. Pray for solution concerning your matters. Pray for solution concerning your need. Let God manifest his power. Let God manifest his glory. Let God manifest His power. Somebody pray for the manifestations of God's power. Pray for the manifestation of God's glory. In the name of Jesus, my Don't silent, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, solution to their life, solution to their need. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrow. Let's pray to God. Wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrow. Wipe away my tears. That thing that makes you to cry. That very thing that makes you afraid. Lord, wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrow. You have cried enough. Wipe away my tears, oh God. Put an end to my sorrow. And put an end to my fear. 
Somebody add that to that your fear in your life. Lord, put an end to my sorrow. Wipe away my tears and put an end to my sorrow. Put an end to that fear of tomorrow. That fear of your life. That fear in that city. That fear in that country. Open your heart and pray. That Lord, wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrow. And take away my fear. Lift your voice to God. Now, Lord God of heaven, to wipe away that tears. In the name of Jesus, put an end to my sorrow, O God. Can you cry before the Lord? That Lord God of heaven, to wipe away that very tears in your life, in your home, in your family. That Lord, you have got to put an end to your sorrow. Open your heart to Jesus. Lift your voice. Father, wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrow, O God. In the name of Jesus, let every disappointment come to an end. Let every delay come to an end. In the name of Jesus, let that be solution today. Daddy, wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrows. Open your heart to God. Father, wipe away my tears. Put an end to my sorrow. In Jesus' name. We pray. Look at it in verse 2 or Psalm 28, verse 2. Say, hear yeah, the voice of my supplications. When I cry unto thee, when I lift all my hands towards the holy oracle, where can you lift up your hands again? There's no way. I have put up the best that I know. You know, sometimes when you put up the best, you, you are tired. You don't know what to do anymore. And that's why I surrender to the feet of Jesus Christ this morning. You have put all your best on time. You have spent. You have you no. Know, you have many things. You move. You have to do whatever thing that you know that you can do. But I surrender to your feet, Holy Ghost, this morning. For help. Lord, I surrender to your feet, Holy Spirit, this morning. For help to move my life forward. For help to turn my story around. Listen. It's time, listen very well. There are many things you have to enjoy on this earth. That also is good to enjoy too. You are not just on this earth to just to look, just to, 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 to be a spectator. You are here to manifest the glory of God. You are here to manifest the glory of El Shaddai. You are here not just to look. You are here to... Some people, they are rich. They are blessed. And also they are going to heaven. Not only you suffer and go to heaven. Jesus Christ never promised you that. He said in this earth you have the joy of heaven. On this earth you have that joy of heaven. Not to look, oh heaven is my home. Now nah, you know that heaven is your home. You have to work on it. That's very important. But on this as long as you are still on earth. You can have heaven on earth. People have the mind of heaven but earth no good. They are heavily minded, but else they are no good. That's not the plan for God for you. The plan of God for you to be heavily minded and earth also good. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray. Daddy, attend to my cry. Hear my voice. I surrender to your feet. Help me, O oh God. My life needs help to break through. My life need help to move forward. My life need help to rise. My life need help to move. I need your help. Every power that is knocking you down. Every power that is knocking glory down. In your life, every power that don't want me to rise. Every power I outside that don't want these people to rise. In the name of Jesus, put such power to shame. Every power that don't want it to happen, the desires of your heart, every power that don't want you to happen, that don't want what to desire in your heart to happen, every power that delays glory, every power that deny me of my joy, every power robbing me of your blessing, of your glory, in the name of Jesus such power this morning put them to shame such power this morning put them to shame every power 
deny me access to my breakthrough, access to my open doors. In Jesus' name, we pray. This morning, can you be a blessing by inviting your friends and family to lift up their voice before the Lord? Hallelujah. Be a blessing by sharing it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God, you must enjoy God. You must enjoy God. You don't have to cry to pay your rent. Praise the Lord. You don't have to cry to spend. You don't have to beg before you eat. You don't have to walk, 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 walk without having anything to show for it. No, that is not the plan of God. That's, what, that's not what Jesus Christ died for. He died for all. He died for your salvation. He died to redeem you. He died to give you heaven and earth. He said, our Father art is in heaven. That's what he paid the price. He wanted to have heaven on this very earth. Not for you to cry, cry, cry. Hey. But say that, that you look at life. You look at life and say there is no solution. Solution is in it. Through Christ Jesus. Open your heart and pray. I'm breaking to this morning. I'm coming out this morning. I'm breaking to every, every, every tie down. Every, every power that tied the glory down, I'm breaking through this morning. Your womb must open. Your womb must open. Your womb must open and conceive. Every must visit your life. Every must visit my life. I'm coming out this morning. I'm moving forward this morning. Open your heart to go wherever you are. Your voice to Jesus that you are moving forward. Ilie moko papa patata para bate. Ilie moro moko shete le moko totele. Ilie moro bakete le bakata kata. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Every must supply my needs. 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 Need. Open your heart and pray. In the name of Jesus, everyone must give to you the desires of your heart. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. When I look at this very year, what, when, when are you going to enjoy the goodness of God in your life? I know God can make you to enjoy at his own time, which also, but there's a time that will fit your life. There's certain things in your life that is overdue. Today we celebrate I, 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 I we celebrate I, uh, Sarah for at that old age God bless her. But imagine if God should have blessed her at any age. To lead to the glory of God. God wants glory. You know? Yes. You know. That would be good. It's, he was going to enjoy it. He's going to see what about good thing? That Sarah can also can see her own grandchildren because I don't think that he has that privilege. Because after a pass on, that they are they will find a wife for Isaac. She can't able to see it. She can't able to see. She can't able to see. Hallelujah. Yes, she can't able to see Jacob and Esau. What about that? And after then, the man himself went over and married seven. And having a child with seven, or another, other seven children, and that seven children grow before Abraham, because Abraham have to send them away, not to disturb Isaac. He has to send them away. Remind them, have to go. Grace was upon. Grace was upon Abraham, but that grace is not sufficient enough for the wife. But you can cry for your own. Hallelujah! You can cry for your own after the woman passed on. The man never went over, get another woman again, and have seven children. And they have to grow and have to send them away. For them to grow to a point is sending them away. They are not a baby. Hallelujah. Say, okay, you people take, don't disturb Isaac. You, you can go. They are not a baby. That means probably very few years of Isaac, the woman passed on because she has waited. But the fulfillment of God's promises over her came to pass. Hallelujah. What about you enjoying the blessing now? At your age now? What about you enjoy? You can see the goodness of God in your life. 
whereby you can eat the fruit of your labor so early in life. Hallelujah. So you can eat the fruit of your labor. So what about now that God put an end to that your cry and give solution to your life? Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, answer me speedily. I've waited enough. Open your mouth and pray. Father, I want to see what you can turn my life to be. I want to enjoy of your grace. I want to enjoy of your mercy. Open your heart and pray. Say, Father, do it and do it quickly. Open your heart to God. Say, Father, do it and do it quickly. Say, Father, do it and do it quickly. Everyone must act into your voice today. No more delay in my life. No more delay of God's glory. No more delay of God's blessing. No more delay of fulfillment in my life. Open your heart to God. Everyone must, everyone must release to you your own portion in the name of Jesus. Heaven must release to you your own portion in the name of Jesus. Heaven must release to you your own portion in this season. Open your heart to God. Heaven must release to you all what that is yours now. All what that is mine. Somebody pray. All what that is yours now. Let heaven release now. Solution to your situation. Solution to your case. In Jesus name. We pray, tell the Lord, and say, Lord, let everything around me respond to that blessing. Let everything around me begin to yield to my glory. Daniel prayed, but what is around him never yield to his glory. Daniel prayed. He made a request before the Lord. He made a request before the Lord, and what is around him never yield to that request. The prince of Persia in that city delayed the blessing. Many of us sometimes you think that God has not yet answered you. God has released the blessing. I told us, today I look at the book of Daniel, I know that many things that God has given to us, that Satan don't want us to get it. That many of your prayer that God has answered, that God has nothing to do with it. See, what are you talking about? God, you are not faithful. See, I'm faithful. God, you are not answer, answered. God, I request this, but you have never given to me. I've given to you because of that delay and deny of what is around you. When you look at the book of Daniel, where the angel want to deliver that request to Daniel, the prince of that city said, no, Daniel is not going to get the blessing. Not God that deny him. That's why I say God is not evil. God is not enjoying your suffering. He has, he's like, ah, let that person suffer. I love it. No. God is not, enjoy, is not happy about your disappointment. So that you are failing. Why God has to enjoy that? That you are not being given, that they are denying you. Why God want to enjoy such a thing? Why God don't want you to have that glory of it? He want to show the glory of him in your life. When I look at the book of Daniel, that opened my eyes. There are many requests. There are many prayers that enemy have denied us. That's why, but good things, that's why you never silent to your request. Daniel never silent. That what deliver him, that what rescue him. That's why the word of God told us, if you don't get it yet, keep on asking. If you don't have it yet, don't stop to pray. If it's not yet given to you, don't silent about it. Is going to give to you until your joy is full. Many people surrender quickly. Ah, I've prayed. I'm tired. I cannot pray anymore. I know it happened. Sometimes it will happen to everyone. Sometimes that you are tired. You don't feel like doing it. But one thing I want you to do: do like David. David encouraged himself again in the Lord. Yes, it happened. Go and look at many people in the scripture. They are tired. Elijah at one point in time, Elijah at one point in time is tired. He cannot, he don't want to do it anymore. He's tired. David at one point in time is tired. He cannot do it anymore. Yes. He's tired. He cannot do it anymore. Our Lord Jesus Christ was also in the in the, in the garden of Gethsemane, also look at it. Ah, 
What is this? Me, God, the creator of heaven and earth, I'm going to put sin on myself. I'm going to put the sin of the world on me. And when I sin, there will be a separation between me and the Father that has never happened before. And he said, oh, is there anything, is there any way we can do it again? Father, if let it be that we can do it in another way. But at one point in time, you come to conclusion. Don't worry. Let your will be done. The Bible says the angel ministered to him. Lord, that's what you are here. I don't know what the angel is talking about to him, Jesus. Remember the Bible said the angel ministered to Jesus at that place of Gethsemane. Well, you can do it. You can save the whole world. You are the one that can do this. You are the only one. I don't know what the Bible never said that. I'm just putting that. You are the only one that can do this to these people. If you don't do it, remember the angels, nobody did it for them. That's why they are doomed. But you can save the whole world. You can do it. God, you can do it. It's okay. Let your will be done. And he went over and did it. That's why we are standing today. That's why we have a place in God today. That's why we have a chance with him. That's why we can call him Abba Father. That's why we can lift our voice and present our case because somebody paid the price. Hallelujah. Never tire, never give up. Keep on telling. Even though you don't feel like, just tell him, remember me. Even though you don't feel like, say, Daddy, remember me. If that's what you can see, just keep on telling him. He has promised that those that call upon him, he will not disappoint them. He has promised that he will not put you to shame. He has promised that he will not end up in shame. Hey, my guy, power insider. He has promised that he will come to your rescue. Listen, I have seen God. Can God of heaven never put no one to shame? Even though it, it seems like it's a shame, he's still going to come to your rescue. I've told you, it's testimony of somebody. I just have that in memory. That we are praying. We are praying for that very person. We are praying for the person. Lord, this person, don't let this person be deported. Lord, help this person, oh God. Let, 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 ah, help this person, oh God. We are praying. I have one thing in me, which I try. If I'm praying for somebody, like right away, I will know what is happening. No matter that thing, I will know. That's why sometimes I always say to you, don't mention the date to me. Don't mention the date you want to go anywhere. Because right away we are telling me thing, I will know there's one thing in me that it will just come like this. When I feel it in my spirit, ah, I know that. But sometimes I try to exercise faith on it because it will sound like a negative thing. So I try to exercise faith on it. So no, I, I will not say I rebook it. I will, when I have it, when that thing, just when I feel that thing in my spirit, even though I'm praying, I'm using faith. I probably don't say to the person that ah hey. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I probably say <laughs> when I have that thing, my spirit come like this. Ah uh, ah uh, it will come like a fear. Oh, oh, oh. When I see that spirit, I when I see it, I know. Oh my god, I know what God wants to do. But even though I will exercise faith on it, Lord. Let that be a miracle, Lord. I pray. But if one, if that thing is going to be possible again, that thing will come so strong. Da, 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 da. I will know. Oh, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Don't worry. This, there's no doubt. So I, so I was, we are praying for that person. Ah, don't let this person be deported. And I felt that thing. I was in my, I was in a restroom, sharp praying. Praying for the person, showering, praying for the person. In the Father, in the name of Jesus, let this person, oh God, let this person. And I felt that thing in my spirit. Ah! I said, what is this? What is this? <laughs> but God is ever faithful. God is a faithful God. I said, what is this in my spirit? Ah! But one day we are praying. The person was there. I said, I saw somebody come in to help you. The woman, the person looked at me. I saw somebody coming. I saw a woman coming. A woman is coming. A woman. A woman is coming to help you. But I don't know. 
when the woman, whether the woman is going to, that woman is going to help that very person at that very situation they were praying for that person. But I saw a woman coming, a woman coming towards you to help you. But that's what I just, I don't know whether this, for that moment, eventually, they deport that very person. That very person was deported. He said, ah, God put me to shame. But no, God never put anyone to shame. Hello, please trust God, no matter what you are hearing. Listen, no matter what they are saying to you, whether they are denying you, once your trust in this God, you will never, I told you, even though you end up in debt of a child of God, it's not a shame. They will still do that. Even though that thing is, is unto death, because the Bible says there's some sickness that is unto death, where God is not going to do anything to it. I've prayed for people. Some people, when I see it, like, ah, no, no, there's no way it's unto death. There's no way it's unto death. In Jesus' name, ah, this is unto death. There's no doubt about it. This person is going to die. There's a, even though it's unto death, there's no shame for any believer. I want you to put your total trust in God, no matter what you have been saying to Him. No matter what you have, the circumstances around you. What's in my trust? Remember, the case has been set to you. The word of God has set to the case. And what is? There is no one that put his trust in the Lord that he will put to shame. The word set to every situation of your life, set to every circumstance of your life, set to everything. You can never end up in life. You can never end up saying to God, Lord, you shame me if your trust truly is in him. I've never, it can seem like a shame. I've been in a situation that is, it looked like, ah, this is a shame. They throw me out. Oh, they throw me out. Ah, they, they lock the door on me. I can't even access the house anymore. Seems like a shame. Ah, and you told me to do this work of you, oh God. And you call me. And this now they throw me out. But at the end, there's no shame. At the end, when I look at it, is there any shame now? No. Oh, I don't know what you are passing through. Let your faith hold on to him. Keep on telling. Even if you feel like, I know you come to a point in time, you probably don't feel like praying anymore. But never stop to pray. Because that's the key that opened that doors. Never stop to say it. Because that is the very key that opened the door for your life. That is the key that opened Keep on connecting. What devil want to do to disconnect you from the one that can help you? What devil want to do is to push you away. If you don't feel like you don't have the strength, mercy, oh God. Lord, mercy, oh God. Mercy, oh God. He has concluded. He has finished the course. And the course is that no one that put to shame. Uh, listen, he has never put me to shame in my life. I can boldly say that. I felt disappointed. But there's no shame at the end. I'm telling you the truth. I've, no, I felt several times that God will have disappointed me. I've challenged him. But at the end, when I look at it, he silent me. What about now? Tell me what about now? Uh, 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 what? Uh, what? <laughs> okay, what about now? Tell me now. What are you talking about now? That very thing you are talking about. I will not have anything to say anymore. I have never seen it in my life. That at the end, even though I, I mean, so why, why am I going through this, Lord? Why, why, why me? Why this in my life? But I, he, he was silent to it. Whether he encouraged me, fuck him, ballet, fuck him, ballet. You know, so sometimes I say, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> sometimes I would say to leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But at the end, and anytime I say leave me alone, he never get mad with me. He say, shut up your mouth, you are stupid boy. He's a loving God. He say, don't worry. Why are you thinking like that? God never says, shut up. Stop. I've never seen that say that to me. He said, just oh, what are you talking about? I'm going to help you. You don't know. I'm going to help you. I'm going to do it for you. But at the end, when I look at it, there is no disappointment. If Papi don't do it the way I want him to do it for me, say, Lord, this way I want you to do it for me. This way I've designed it that I want this thing to manifest. 
But at the end, my conclusion, in all my life, that he has never disappointed me in one day. Because he has settled that case. Anyone that trusts in the Lord will never, never be ashamed. Trust God for the fruit of the womb that you are believing God, no matter the years. Never give up on it. Trust God on your papers, no matter what the law is saying. Trust God. Open your heart to God. Say, Father, arise to help me. My time is now. Let everything around me begin to yield to the blessing. Open your heart and pray. Let everything around you begin to respond now. Every prince of Persia, every prince in this city, robbing these people of their blessing now. Every power saying no, 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 no. Makali Poria. Let the power be put to shame. Let every power that is not of you surrender at your feet in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Ilya, Makali Bukosata. Break that yoke of delay. Break that yoke of denial in the name of Jesus. Break that yoke of delay. Break that yoke of denial in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name we pray. What do you mean by trust? Trust that is only one. Do you know Abraham, the Bible told us that Abraham never staggered upon God's promises over him, upon the promise of God over Abraham. Go and look at the book of Hebrew. I think the book of chapter 11 talks about men of faith. That Abraham never doubt God. That is not going to happen. Sometimes when I look at it, I say, oh, no, well, because you are speaking to Abraham audibly. That's why. That he hear the voice. Sometimes I say, I don't think so. Not only is he hearing God, but he believed God. Not only that, he has looked at the account of God. And God has never failed him. Why can't you look at what the victory of your past? I know that God, if God can do this thing for you, even though it's very little, you must know this is a little thing. Why can't you look at that victory and let that jeer you up that God of heaven if you have done this for me, do you know how David defeated Goliath? Because of his past resume with God. That God, you deliver me from the lions and bears. In this front of this one, you will deliver me. Don't give up on your situation. He made a promise. He made that. I, I, was, I was listening to a testimony of that man and that woman that he gave back at the end. That man said he never gave up. And listen, they took a step of faith because I was listening from that testimony. They went to the doctor. You know, sometimes you have to do that. I'm telling you the truth. Faith and action. Faith and action. Except you come to a point you don't know what to do. Whether you are trusting God for the food, uh, whether you are trusting God for husband. Hello, I want to marry you, brother. I'm available. I'm available. I'm not thinking you should do that. Wait upon the Lord. The silence sitting, you wait. Like you are trusting God for your papers. I don't believe you just sit down that you just see some, a, your green card on your mailbox. That will never happen. No. I don't believe in magic. Apply. Find something to apply. That's where God can work his miracle out. God. God told. God is not a magician. God is not a magician. God is a miracle worker. How did I know that? When you look at the life of Moses, God never performed any miracle with a magic. Something just appeared from nowhere. Never. He told him what is in your hand. So what you have is what God is going to use to manifest your glory. God never performed any magic. Like he went over to that place where there's the oil. There's no oil. There's no bread. He said, what do you have? He said, this little one we have. Okay, bring it. Jesus never performed anything. So abracadada, abracayaya, hallelujah. Nothing like that. He told them, go and fill that pot with water. So you understand how God works. God is not a magician. If you are waiting for God to perform a magic for you, forget about it. Forget about it. Take a step of it. Move, call, make an information. What can I do? As you are doing it, Holy Spirit of God is on your case. I am a kusataya. As you are the only spirit of God is on your very case. Hallelujah. Listen, your case will not end up in shame, except you never trust God. 
write it down. Say, I said that to you. If your trust is in God, it will never, it will never end up in shame. I know that hundred percent because that is the word of God. He said, "They that put their trust in the law shall never put to shame." And what is shame? People come and to and begin to mock at you. Say, "What about your God? Have you ever seen the three Hebrew? God showed up at the end, even though they are in the furnace of fire. Daniel was also in the dens of lion. God showed up at the end." Those people, when they are putting them there, say, oh, these people, God has shamed them. God has disappointed him. Ah! But at the end, no, I've never seen it. Listen, I've never seen it. My life testifies to that. Even though it, it makes me to pass through things, ah, but it never end up in shame. I am a Kylie Poriza. That God I present to you. Let it manifest his power in your life. Say that, amen. Oh, Makaili Pafsida. Everything uncompleted in your life. Ilia, Ilia, Sida. Oh, Makaili Pafsida. What I'm seeing, I'm seeing a foundation. That foundation is like a big uh, foundation. Foundation of a house. And that foundation of a house now started having a module. Know what I mean by module on that foundation on that bricks? The, the, it's a foundation, but that foundation started now. There's a module on that foundation, you know, that green thing that always in that day, yeah. That foundation now is having a module on it. <laughs> and Bible make me understand if the foundation is destroyed, what can the very righteous say? I don't know what is your foundation. The mode you have clear upon it. I don't know what I've cleared your foundation. Why well, pray that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, wipe away whatever thing that is not of God in your life. Let Holy Ghost repair every fund, every forty foundation on completing your life. Ili moko parabati te 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 te. Every stagnancy your life remove na. Ye karabaku I decree moko bali bakasata. Le brando pe 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 sende le moko shata. Rabe ke te ke te ke te ke te. Maya gabako soto to to le karaba. Le peru moko shono broda kata. Ye te te libere moko to to li. Maya gaja kasata te te li. In the name of Jesus, every forty foundation receive power. Every forty foundation receive joy. Open your mouth to the eye. Re pe pe so to 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 ya. Ile moro moko shetele moa. In any areas of life, the enemy say they are punishing you. He has took the punishment on the cross of Calvary. In any areas of life that enemy say they are punishing your life. Why? Jesus have took the punishment. So you don't have to suffer. He suffered so that you don't have to suffer. Today, let that yoke of suffering break in your life. Say that amen right now. The yoke of suffering. Because of what I'm seeing the letter punishment. Today, Ilya Makaili Poside Kataya, he has took it on the cross of Calvary. He was beaten so that your life will not be beaten. He was wounded. So that you will not be wounded. Why again? It's not the word of God. Say the affliction will not rise again. Jesus have took that affliction for you. And the affliction should not rise again. Every affliction of disappointment. Every affliction of delay. Every affliction of sorrow. Today, let it come to an end. Amen. Say that amen louder. Every every affliction of depression, ilabaku parabat of deny today over, over, over. He took it so you will not carry it anymore. My name is ya. Let the affliction come to an end in the name of Jesus. You are coming out today. 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 Somebody the Lord said to you. That if you can if you can see him in your prayer, you will see his power. I'm talking to somebody right now. The Lord is saying to me, that should tell you that if you can see him in what you are talking about to him, 
if you can see him over your prayer, you will see the manifestation of him. You know, it's possible somebody can be praying, but you don't see God over it. It's telling me, I should tell you, that if you can see him over what you are talking about, you will see his power. If you can see the Lord Jehovah God, you will see his power. Somebody, the Lord is ahead of you. The Lord is ahead of you. I'm telling you right now, I don't know whether you are going somewhere, but I see the Lord. The Lord is ahead of you. He's ahead of you. And when God is ahead, every other power will bow. When God is ahead, every other power will bow. God is ahead. And you will see the glory of him. And yet declare over everyone, in that place that you are tired, in that place of of your life that you don't know what to do, in that place that you think, I want to give up. Pastor, I don't feel like anymore. I can't carry it anymore. Let God come to your rescue. Let God come to your rescue. In that place that you are tired, in your casa tata li pokupaya, la bando brende kete kete, le prendo pakusha tali burkutoya, I pray, receive strength. In the name of Jesus, in that junction of life that you feel like giving up, let God of heaven come to your rescue. Let Jehovah God help you. May you receive, may you receive, may you receive the glory of God. May you receive the glory of God. May you receive the glory of God. You are delivered from that power. You are delivered from that barrenness. You are delivered from that delay. You are delivered. Let the glory of Jehovah God manifest in you. Thank you, my father. Except you don't trust God for it. If you really trust God for it, you will see the glory of God. There's no doubt about it. Except you don't trust God for your miracle. If you really trust God, you know, some people, they pray, they do something else. Mm -mm. Don't, God will not share the glory. Just know that He will never share the glory with you. So you never want to give the glory to that thing or you give glory to God. So when we go on the other side doing things, God will fold His hand. Ah, finish what you are doing. Let's see how it's going to work out. Because he will never come. I just thank the Lord. Is it to give to Jesus Christ or to give to this? No, he will never, never. He wants the glory to himself. So you just don't delay yourself anymore. Surrender to his feet and totally trust in him. Say, it's you that I trust. And one thing told you, anyone that trusts me, never put to shame. He said, but pastor, I've trusted him for many years. I have no other God beside me. It's him alone. I don't go anywhere. The family did. Listen, don't wait. Don't worry. Your situation in life will ne never end up in sheep. I can guarantee you that. 100%. Your situation of your life will never, 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 so far you stick with this God. You hold on to this Jesus. Ah, never that your situation will end up. Never. I have never seen it. Never. You also look at many people. And look at, so people can, profess, can proclaim Jesus out of their mouth and they are doing something else. I'm not talking about God knows those who are his. He knows that. You can still, so this person is a believer, he's a Christian, and God said, no, 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 I'm forget about it. He's not a Christian, he's nothing. Hallelujah. God knows. Sometimes, ah, that sister is going to church. That brother, be, God said, come on, leave that sister alone. He is not my own. <laughs> and he said, ah, but that sister, ah, that brother. And God said, no, 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 forget about that. That sister is not my own. You probably think it's his God's own. And God said, no, it's not my own. Hallelujah. God never put his own to shame. Never, never, never. I've never seen it. Go and relax. It will end up in joy. Go and relax. It will end up in glory. Go and relax. It will end up in fulfillment. Go and relax. You will see the glory of God. Your womb will open. That womb will carry baby. Ah, Ilya Makari Pore Saira. Lilia Nanande Veko Sarula. There's a woman that, that was that I was talking to me one day many, many years ago. 
She's over 60. She believed God. Say, I believe God that I want to have a child again. I said, Mama, you? He said, Yes. <laughs> he said, I believe God. Why not? He can do it. Ah, I myself am looking at <laughs> Hallelujah. She believed God for a miracle. I release a word over your life. Nanda Diaboshandaya. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, let your womb open. Let your womb open. Put your right hand upon your stomach right now if you are believing God for the foot of the womb. Let your womb open. In the name of Jesus, let your womb open. No more deny. No more holding back. Go in this God's blessing. And return with a great testimony. It's your time. It's your turn. In Jesus' name. We give all the praise. Can we shout? And you, I cover the water by the blood of Jesus Christ. You can't be drinking this water that you cannot, that you should not receive your miracle. God never talked to me that this, in, as I'm calling you, this is what I'm not going to be doing. I've never heard that. If you tell me, I will just follow the rules. He told me, let everyone come to him, that he will set them free. Let everyone, that's the assignment. I told you, Isaiah chapter 61, the assignment of Jesus Christ. That is his assignment. That's why I'm here this morning to carry the assignment of him. There's no one that came to him that Jesus Christ never touched. Lord Almighty, I thank you, Lord, that you have never ceased in your assignment. Let what the desires of everyone that is here this morning grant unto them Set them free, deliver them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, Lord, I thank you. If you can thank him three times, that would be good. Say, Lord, I thank you that you will put a new song in my mouth. Say, Lord, I thank you that you will put a new song in my mouth. Say, Lord, I thank you. You have put a new song in my mouth it will manifest you will sing it loud it will manifest you will sing it loud people will hear it it will manifest you will sing it loud people will hear it and they will dance to it for you they will dance to it with you in the name of Je you will sing it out people will hear it and the name of jehovah god will be glorified thank you my daddy in jesus name we pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. Brethren, let's put the matter. The prayer continue this evening. By God's grace, we have this morning, uh, this evening, um, this. <laughs> what am I saying? We have the more the in Yoruba section in the evening, which also everybody can be there, and also tonight because tomorrow morning, uh, uh, let's see. But well, by God's grace, uh, let's see what is going to happen. Uh, so we're going to have um, this evening by 5 and also I'll try by 12.30 uh, tonight. But I don't want you to pick and choose because I have seen that people are choosing to you know, that, oh, um, let me come in the morning. So don't do that because if we do that, we cancel that one. Hallelujah. If we do that, we just have to cancel one for one. So I say, okay, that means let me give you people rest. Hallelujah. And I know that Lord Jehovah God will do great things for us in Jesus' name. And also, as we are going to the end of this year, please let us prepare ourselves for the Lord and seek the face of God for 2020. And I know 2020, 2021 is going to be a great year. We have so, This year, have, we have passed through things in this year all over, but God will reward us. Hallelujah. And also, it's not don't give up. 2020 can still bring your blessing to you. Don't give up on it. It can still bring your blessing to you. Hallelujah. I believe that. I have never changed my word. If you have not yet received your testimony, where the Lord told us, you are part of that prayer, the Lord told us, that everyone will get his own. Please, remind him. I'm telling you the truth. Remind him. If that truly is the word of God, and you, you believe it, you must be a candidate for it. I'm telling you, remind him. Let's hold God upon his word. There's no kajo here. There's no gimmicks here. Let's hold him of what he said to us. That's what I believe. You said this. Okay, I believe you. Okay, do it. 
And I know that he has never picked a race around. No. He will stand by his word because he's a faithful. Call what means the faithful God. And also I encourage you, let's be a blessing to work of God. We need your support. Praise the Lord. Uh, I don't want to mention another thing again. We need your support to do this. There's another thing coming up this very... Is it on the 22? There's Ali. So we need your support to do this. I think on the 22 of this month. Yes. That's... Uh, then just just be a blessing somebody woke up because pastor you have come again what is another date again on this it's truly let's be a blessing i told us this there's nothing free here there's nothing free he probably said oh but it, no there's nothing we use we pay service we are paying monthly service to many um company to make us to be able to have this hallelujah so to some not just many company not to keep us blessing this spirit hallelujah so be a blessing to the work of god and I know the Lord of God will do great things for us in Jesus' name. Father, let your people testify. Say, I will. Father, let your people testify. Say, say it. Say, you're going to. Say it. Father, let your people testify. Father, let your people testify. Go and return with a great testimony. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. When I say something, say amen. You know, many people think it's a vision. I don't really see vision. No. My the grace of God is the word. The grace of God. Word. Word. Just believe that when I say something, say amen to it. Believe is a word, not like I'm saying that the pastor is saying vision. No, 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 no. Don't want to see vision. It's the word. What God released, the grace, is the word. Word. And believe it. You will testify. Say, I will. You will testify. Say, I will. Say, you will testify. I will. Say it out of your mouth. I say, you're going to testify. Say, I will. You're going to testify of his goodness. Say, I will. Concerning your child, you will testify. Say, I will. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. You will surely testify. You will surely testify. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Shout hallelujah. Let's share that grace together. But the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His preparation Holy Spirit may be to us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Your joy has come. Shout hallelujah. Your joy has come. Shout hallelujah. Your joy has come. God will not change over his word in your life before this year over. God will not change over his word over your life before this year over. Shout hallelujah. Give God the praise. God bless you. See you in the evening. See you in the evening. See you in the evening. God bless you. Bye-bye.